Hey everybody, it's Matt from Job Critical Sayings here, and today I'm going to show you my Tapion deck profile. So, Tapion, when he attacks, you look at the top 5 cards of your deck, add up to one blue truck shoe, um, a hero or a fountain demon, and then awaken your life at 4 or less, and you have, well, sorry, your life's 4 or less, or you have 2 or more energy and a blue Harudagon card in play. You can draw energy, well, what draw energy? Draw a card, get energy back, and go down to 6. Got that completely messed up. Right, so on the awakened side, um, when a card in your combo area is placed in your drop, you may play up to two blue hero cards with an energy cost of one from your combo area in rest mode. If you do, you're going to get this skill for a turn. So that's during either player's turn. And the downside is you do have to combo with three cards in order to pull this off because the card. The third card goes to drop, and then the two come into play. It's a shame that they don't come into play from the drop, in safe hand, but it is what it is. At the end of the turn, his other order is you choose all your rest mode hero cards and energy cost of one, and place them into place them into drop, and then he's got an activate bar once per turn, where you use up to one blue hero cards with energy cost of one from your drop in a combo. So that's the leader. The Z deck. Uh, start off with we've got oh, okay. uh, we've got three copies of the hero's melody so the hero's melody is one cost for both the Specified and does the energy activate main if your leader card is hero and you your opponent has two more energy you can return a blue Harudagon card from your battle area to your hand remove this from the game and then play a four cost TP on uh, and then we just have the one mighty blast so activate battle as one one. Activate battle, you place one of your Z energy into a drop, remove this card from the game, choose it to one of your cards, it gets 10k for the battle. Um, then choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards, and you also two or less and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. But then it's also got another activate battle where you, this one actually has a cost to pay a blue. If you leave the card is blue and you place three of your Z energy into your drop, and you remove this card from the game, you draw a card and play a shadow token, which has got blocker. And then you choose that's one of your cards and you get 15. So that's that. Uh, next up, we have the Z Unisons. So we got three copies of the Tapion Awakening after a, a thousand years. So it's a two cost with one Z energy. Permanent, if you have a blue Z Unison card or a specified cost of two in play, reduce the cost in your Z deck by one. And then auto, when this card is played, choose to one of your opponent's battle cards, return it to your owner's hand, and he gains 10k for a turn. So it's just a bit of spot removal if you got the energy and you had a bit of a pickle. Uh, the other Z unison we've gone with is the Bora. So it costs 4 with 2 Z energy. It's got dual tag blocker, 20k, and then it's got minus 1. Auto and minus one activate main. The auto is when one of your opponent's cards attacks, choose up to one of your uh, opponent's battle cards, negate your skill for a turn, and it can't attack for a turn. And then minus one activate main, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, place it on bottom of the owner's deck, and then you get energy back at the end of the turn. And then we got one copy of the Awakened Onslaught Goku. So it's one cost, three Z energy, 15 auto. You place one of your Z energy into your drop. At the end of the turn, we will discard from the game. Then choose one of your opponent's battle cards, energy cost of five or less, and place a point in his deck. So it's just a nice, if you, if you can afford to pay the three Z energy and you need to spot remove or something, basically. Uh, but he doesn't activate main as well, once per turn, you lead a card as mono blue, and you discard an extra card from your hand. You can draw a card and give him a crit. So there's always that little extra bonus if you wanted to. And then we've got a cell. Three cost, two is the NG, 25, it's got deflect, it's got crit. When he's played, you choose all of your opponent's battle cards, which cost a five or less, and place them under him. 
and it's going to activate main once per turn. Um, if one or more cards are under this card and you place all of them into the owner's drop, you switch it back to active mode. But if you remove four cards during this effect, he does gain triple strike. And that's the Z deck. So the extra cards in the main deck, we just got your yeah, free D magic, which is your spark in the gate for blue. You can rip a life, you got five and drop, or pay one, you get two energy back and negate. And then we got your free chills army reinforcement, which is the blue token negate blocker. So you got five or less, you can rip a life to play this or pay two, negate the, the attack, and then you play a blocker out. On to the one cost. Da, 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 da. Oh, almost got them all in one. Right. So first up we have Tapion. There are two different Tapions. So the Tapion from the set that this Tapion is from. Uh, when this one is played, you look at the top five cards of your deck. Then you add up to one Trunks Youth, a Hero or Phantom Demon, or they have to be blue, and then it's energy cost of four or less. Activate Battle, you can place this card in your draw, choose one of your Rudigon really, really cards, and it gets 5k. And then we got a classic Tapion from way back in set four. This is just a top five searcher for a blue hero or a phantom demon, but it's energy cost of three or less, but it can also get a specified cost to unison. Uh, BT14, not BT4, sorry. I just saw the four. That's why it's a unison. Duh. Um, but this deck doesn't use that unison for that uh, deck. I can't remember which Herudagon that one was. but I think it was Herudagon, because that's the first Tapion leader. So yeah, it would be. And then we've got uh, BT14. Minosha is also, when he's played, he gets draw a card. He's going to activate main, where you can pay one. Pay one blue, sorry. If you lead a card... It is a blue, uh, and you place this card in its own drop. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, play up to one blue hero, then you cost a three or less among them, and then shuffle your deck. So it's just a nice way of getting cards out. Uh, two costs, I think there's only, yeah, the two costs, there's only the super combos. So we've got two Fujita and two Tapion. Tapion is just your four or less straight up draw, but he's here because he's a hero, so he's searchable because he meets all those requirements. And then the Vegeta is your four or less bottom deck to draw two. It's bottom deck from hand, so yeah, there you go. Uh, free costs, when we can get them all, there we go. Right, because you need to have Herudagon in here to meet the requirement for Tapion, we got three of the legs, and four of the top half, the body. So the body one, he's got Deflect, and then auto, you choose one of your blue hero cards, place it in your drop, and he gains 5k in crit, so he's a nice one to have on the board. Uh, your heroes come out by using your leader skill, so you can keep this out, you can just keep bouncing your... Uh, is it in this bounce? Uh, I know, place it in drop, sorry. So, yeah, yeah, so you can use your leader to get them from the drop, and then swing with this, place it in drop, gain 5k and go to 20 of a crit. Which is really nice to do. And then it's got an activate main loot one, paint a blue. If you lead a card is hero or phantom demon card. And you've got two more range. You, you draw a card, play this card from your hand. And then you send a tapion from, uh, well, a one cost tapion. Is it one cost? Place it to one blue tapion. No, it doesn't matter. Play any tapion from the drop, well, from your deck to drop. And then the legs is the same skill at the bottom here uh, you draw a card but this one sends to Minosha and not a Tapion but then he's got an auto instead of a uh, well instead of a swing skill he's got a different type of auto you choose one of your blue hero cards and place it in your drop oh wait, it is one attack sorry choose that to one of your opponent's battle cards and you put it at the bottom of the owner's deck so he's just spot removal and then we got three copies of Goten so go turn, he's got an auto. At the end of your turn, you look at look at up to three cards on top of your deck, add up to one trunks youth or a go tanks card that is both blue and with energy cost of six or less. 
add it to your hand, and then place the rest of the ball in your deck. If you add to the cards, you've got to put this back in your hand. It's got activate main at one, paying a blue. You reveal one blue, trunks you from your hand, and you get to play this card from your hand. And then we've got the free cost trunks you. So when he attacks, he just gets to use a 5k combo from drop in a combo with the card's skills negated. And then here's activate main, limit one, paint a blue. If you lead a card as a hero, you choose one of your blue hero cards and you cost a one, put it back to your hand, and then you get to play this card from your hand. Four costs. Yeah, I've got them all now. Uh, we have four copies of the the gate trunks. So counter attack limit one. If you lead a card as hero, you negate your attack and play this card. Permanent. If you if you sorry if you have a blue hero card in play, you can reduce its cost by three, so it only costs a one. And then auto. If it's your opponent's turn, you choose one of your blue hero cards and you cost a one. Place it at the bottom of your deck. When this card is played, you get energy back, so it ends up costing nothing. Then we've got four copies of this TPR, which is a double striker. It's got auto. If it's your uh, if your opponent has two more energy, when this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards. Energy cost a four or less, ignoring barrier, and put it to the bottom of your owner's deck. Activate main limit one, paint a blue if the other card is a hero card. Uh, you choose one of your blue hero cards and you cost a one, put it back to your hand, you get to play this out. And then we've got three copies of the BT14 Tapion. So it's a double striker, it can EX evolve for two blue onto a blue Tapion for energy cost of two or less. So if you've got a tape, one of your one drop Tapions out, you can just EX evolve if you really want to. When it's played, you get to draw a card. But the way uh, you can it's activate main and this deck doesn't really do anything for it because it's limit one spirit boots one pain of blue which you I suppose you can do but it's not ideal uh, so you do that but it has to oh wait no that's why because it's a blue unit with 15k power or more uh, and you got three or more energy players got from your hand but the idea is to play it out using the hero's melody. So that's what I like to do with it because the other four costs you can play it out just by bouncing one of your one drops, which is very useful to do. So then I just use the Hero's Melody to play out the Calamity Challenge of TPR. Uh, on to the six costs. We've got three copies of the Kotanks on the set. So the Gotenks, he's a deflect dual attack. Auto, when he is played, you choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards, and she costs a six or less, and you place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. And he's got another auto. At the end of your turn, if you've got a Trunks Youth or a Sun Go turn in play, you get an energy back. And then activate battle limit one, paint two blue. If there are two or more cards in your combo area, you play this card from your hand. Easily done because the leader guarantees you a card anyway. Or the uh, free drop trunks so instantly combos as well. <coughs> and then to close out the deck, we got there you go, four copies of the eight costs TP on and trunks. So it's dual attack auto once per turn. When he attacks, he chooses one of your opponent's battle cards and plays it on the owner's deck. Activate main limit one, paint two blue. If you lead a card as a hero. Or Phantom Demon, and you have three or more energy, and you got two or more blue cards in your battle area. You can play this card from your hand, and he's got activate battle once per turn. Choose one of your blue hero cards, and you cost a one. Return it to your hand, and he gains 10k in double. So there you go, guys. That is my Tapion deck profile. Leave any thoughts and comments below, and thank you very much. So bye bye.